Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is lecture three of the square root composition and Mohs algorithm uh, lecture series. And in this series, we are uh, in this lecture, we are going to see how Mohs algorithm is actually implemented, and we will uh, solve this problem D query from Spodge. So let's move on. Uh, so the problem to be discussed is this: you are given an array with n elements and q queries, and in each query you are given two indices L and R. You have to tell how many unique numbers are there in the range L to R. For example, uh, this is the example. <clears throat> so in the range one to four, there are three unique elements. In in the range three to four, there is only one unique element that is only three and in one to four there are one two three three unique elements so uh we have already discussed how mos works so let's suppose this is our currently active uh, range so in this range uh we this is the frequency array and this is the uh, number of unique elements in the current range so the current active range is this 3 to uh, 3 to 6 and the number of elements number of unique elements are 3 1 4 and 5 so frequency of 1 is 2 frequency of 4 is 1 frequency of 4 is oh sorry frequency of 5 is 1 so since there are three non-zero frequencies here it tells that there are three unique elements present in the active range now suppose there is a query 1 to 7 now uh, from the previous this is this active range is from previous query so from previous query we can see that this is our range so we have to extend the range so to extend it first let's extend the uh, uh yes these are two points uh, pointers ml and mr i don't know why i call these ml and mr but these are global pointers which point to the previous query this basically is a pointer for our currently active uh, range so currently in the corrective uh, currently active range mr have to be extended to 7 since it is pointing currently to 6 so while mr is less than r mr plus plus so mr is now pointing to this now add mr mr is pointing to the seventh element so let's add 4 to our uh, currently active range so to add it we would go here and increment the frequency of 4 it would become 2 now since it was already present in the active range that is why we would not increment the count uh, the count would be incremented only when the frequency of some element becomes 1 now since mr is equals to uh, r so this would not run anymore so now let's extend our range to our left to do that while ml is greater than l l is the current left of the current starting point of the uh, starting point of current query and this is of course is a uh, currently active range uh, so while ml is greater than l ml minus minus so this is and now add this element add 3 into our uh, range so to add this we will go to 3 and make it frequency 1 as soon as the frequency becomes 1 we increment our count so there in the current active range there are 4 elements uh, similarly uh, again ml minus minus add ml so we would increment the frequency of 2 since 2 become uh, the frequency of 2 becomes 1 hence we would increment the count so in the current active range there are 5 unique elements as we can see 1 2 3 4 and 5 are there so this is how there are two while loops which are used to extend the frequency oh sorry which are used to extend the range so 5 is the answer of our query uh, of this query now there are two ways to extend of course towards the right or towards the left now there are two ways to reduce the range this query asks answer from 2 to 5 and we can see that ml currently points to 1 so while ml is less than l what we would do is remove remove the current element from our currently active range so we would remove 2 to remove 2 we would go to 2 and reduce its frequency so its frequency would become zero as soon as someone's frequency becomes zero we would uh, uh, subtract one from the count so count becomes four now we have removed current ml now ml plus plus now since ml points to l so this loop would not be executed more 
now we would reduce range from r to reduce range uh, mr while mr is greater than r of course we would remove mr so we would remove the frequency of 4 we have reduced the frequency of 4 it has become 1 so since it has not become 0 so we would not reduce 1 from it mr minus minus so now this now again we would remove current mr so we would reduce the frequency of 1 so it, it has become 1 mr minus minus and sorry so now this points from 2 to 5 so this is the answer of a query that is 4 since there are 4 active elements uh, there are 4 unique elements in the uh, currently active range so you see there are 4 while loops to answer ith query q is the number of queries and we are looping through 0 to q minus 1 and l is the l of current query r is the r of current query and idx is the index of the current query so uh, to extend the range there are two while loops while mr is less than r ml plus plus and then add mr similarly while m ml is greater than l ml minus minus and add ml to reduce the range there are two while loops again while mr is greater than r remove mr and mr minus minus while ml is less than l remove ml and ml plus plus after executing all these four while loops we update the answer of the idx index to be count so these four while loops you will see in any mo's algorithm this kind of template of the problem so as you know we were discussing the dequery problem so let me show you the code of it so here here is the code of it so i have already defined the block size to be five triple uh, triple five which is uh, roughly the square root of maximum number of elements and then this is a query structure which contains l r and i i've declared an array of query uh, since the maximum number of queries can be 2 into 10 to the power 5 that is why i've, I've declared uh, a query array of this big and then this ar array is to store the input array this is the answer array this is the frequency array and this is the count count is initialized to zero because our active range contains no element currently now this is a comparative function which would be used to sort the queries query a and b would be sorted like this if the l that is the starting block l uh, we would sort the queries according to l block if the the l block do of a and b are not same then we are sorting them by the block number otherwise we are sorting them by the r ascending order of r this is add function it 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 takes a parameter the position of the element which is to be added in our act, uh, currently active range for that i have incremented the frequency of this element and then i am checking if the frequency is one then increment the count similarly to remove just re uh, remove uh, reduce the frequency by one if frequency becomes zero then count minus minus and this is simple n and q reading the array and then taking the queries yes i am saving the elements uh, uh, on zero in uh, zero base indexes that is why reducing lnr by one because the in in the input lnr are one base index while uh, the problem that uh, the algorithm that i am using to solve i am basically saving them from zero base indexing that is why i am redu reducing one from lnr and then sorting the queries and then i am initializing ml and mr to be 0 and minus 1 respectively and this question is for you to be answered whether uh, while uh, why ml and mr are taken as 0 or minus 1 why why can't both be taken as minus 1 or both can't be taken as 0 this is again just l and r of the ith query and these are the four while loop and then answer of the ith query is equals to count and then printing all the q queries so this is how you solve it uh, so if you have any query just you can ask in the comment section and if you think that this lecture was helpful leave a comment as well so thank you guys for watching and keep learning thank you